I don't know what they are and everything, but you just forget before you get there. But but I think we should support these groups and and uh, and, and help them uh, with with their ministries. And that's one way we can really do that is by, is by things on the music hall. And, and that's you this to pass pass it around. Pass it around. Right. people listen. That's what I like to hear. Amen. I'll need to email the song somebody every now and again. That's all right with me. Now let's do that song that you wrote here a while back. It was the word. I think it probably on there, but but this gives you a little idea of why we do what we do. We travel all around the world to the gospel. That's what we think of this afternoon. And mama, I know you're awful 
easy when we're all at home But I never see you get your Bible out I understand there's work to do with only so much time to get it done But could you take some time to teach me about Jesus before
and I struggle now and then. Oh, but victory with Jesus is always sweet. If I could go to the places I've already been, Lord, I'd do it all.
parents were foster parents. And uh, Bo just happened to be in the custody of the Department of Human Services because the whole time that his mother carried him, she was doing crack cocaine, drinking alcohol, anything she could do that would thrill her for the moment. And of course, everything she was addicted to, Bo was addicted to. And when he was born, he was totally consumed by these horrible things. Six days old, they brought him to the Chester household. And, uh, you know, I, I think sometimes we're a little bit guilty of giving some of the same attributes of the devil that only belong to God. Because the devil is not omniscient. Did you know that? The devil doesn't know everything. The devil is not omnipresent. He, he can't be everywhere at once. If he's in Washington, D.C., messing with Donald Trump, he's not enough in Kentucky. And you know what? He's got a lot of help. And then we give him a lot of help. Amen. But see, we can catch the devil off guard. And that's what happened in this situation because what he didn't know that these lives he was trying to destroy, he didn't know that DHS was going to call a preacher in his family to take his little baby. And everyone up in the house knew how to pray. I've heard Lisa tell how that for three months he wrapped him up in a blanket as he would just have tremors withdrawn from those drugs for three or four months. But you know what? They kept loving on him, kept praying for him, kept feeding him, and just praying for the best. He wouldn't end up with a bunch of difficulties and disabilities because of the, the evil start that he had. But you know what? He turned out all right. Yeah. 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 High School at the top of his class. He uh, went on to got a full ride scholarship, playing his trumpet at Eastern University Band. Just graduated there last May with a 4.0 grade for He had no said he wouldn't have anything to do with him because they assumed there'd be something wrong. He'd be physically deficient, mentally deficient. You know what else he did? About two weeks ago, he ran a marathon. <laughs> Folks, that's 26.2 miles he ran on purpose. <laughs> and finished it. But I didn't tell you any of that to brag on Bo. I just told you that to brag on the God that we serve. Amen. And you know, we do a lot of reminding in our ministry. You know, we go a lot of places. I think sometimes people just, they go and start going through things difficult. I think sometimes we just forget what a great God we serve. The folk, if he's big enough to handle something like that, he's big enough to handle whatever you've got going on in your life. Because he is a great and he is an awesome guy. He's the one that's